Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since the National Championships vlog, but I thought that was a good place to end this year of vlogging. And as you may or may not know, I have not had a lot of time to make videos as I have started studying at university. Anyways, here's a little recap of what I have been doing since the National Championships vlog. After the National Championships, I got selected to run the 200 and the 4x100 for the national team at the European Team Championships. On the first day of the European Team Championships, I ran the 200 meter. I placed top 8 and made the final. I believe I was ranked number 11 before the race, so I was really happy about placing top 8. Christian Manson. So, so the day after, we ran the 4x100 relay and that did not really go well. Um, long story short, we lost about 10 meters in the first exchange. So, yeah. <laughs> So on the last day of the European Team Championships, I was going to run the 200 final. My goal was to beat at least one person, and I did. I placed 7th from lane 1, and I ran about 21.5 into a 2.0 headwind from lane 1, and uh, in horrible conditions, so that was a really good run, and I was really happy with what I did at the championships. Du kom i blocken! About a week later we drove seven hours across the mountain ranges of Norway to compete at the National Junior Championships. I won the 100 and 200 meter but the times were not as fast as I hoped to. I believe a little bit of a cold I had had for the past two weeks uh, had something to do with that but I decided to end my season there and I'm really happy with what I did this season. The only thing missing was breaking the 21 second barrier, but I guess that means we get a second season of Road to 20. After ending my season I had about two weeks where I did a little bit of long jump training. And after about two weeks I tried out my first long jump competition in two years. It went really well, I jumped a big PB of 7.17 meters, but unfortunately the win was 2.1 which means it won't be a legal competition result, but yeah, it's still an unofficial PB and I had a lot of fun. Maybe I'll do some more jumping in the future. After the long jump competition, I focused more on Olympic weightlifting as I was going to compete at the national championships in the weightlifting pentathlon. The first couple of sessions felt horrible as I only had had like two weight sessions during the summer. But after about four or five technical sessions, my strength started coming back real quick. So once again, we traveled across Norway's mountains and fjords to the middle of nowhere to compete. But this time in weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting. As probably two or three of you know, the weightlifting pentathlon consists of five exercises. The snatch, the clean and jerk, the 40 meter dash, triple broad jump and Lyakov, or shot put throw backwards. And the winner is the one with the most combined points in all of those five exercises in total. So we started off the competition with the snatch. I weighed in at about 79 kilos and I set a PB of 114 kilos. I was in a much better shape than I had hoped, so I went ham in the clean and jerk too. I set another PB of 144 kilos. So the weightlifting parts went way over my expectations. So now it was my time to shine in the 40 meter sprint. It was not any kind of 40 meter sprint though. We started like this. Um, Considering I've never done that before, I don't think the other guys have done a lot of it either, but yeah, considering that, it went really well. Uh, and I won in a time of 5.56. Then we went on to the triple broad jump, where I jumped 9.83 meters, which was longer than I had expected. 
Uh, I've not done a lot of this exercise either. And then last but not least, it was the shot put throw or backwards shot put throw Lyakov thingy. Where I also threw a lot farther than I thought I would with 18.61 meters with a 5 kilo shot put. So I had a lot of fun competing in the weightlifting pentathlon and I became the national champion. So I'm super happy with that. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. If you're wondering, I'm studying television and multimedia production here in my hometown. And a guy named Sindra Norman on the year above me in that study made a video about what it means to live a healthy lifestyle or what I think that means. It was a pretty cool video and I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing it. So here it is. Mitt navn er Mathias Ove Hansen, og jeg studerer fjernsyns- og multimedia-produksjon på UIS. På siden av det så satser jeg på fridrett. Jeg har et mål om å kvalifisere meg til EM neste år, og hvis jeg skal gjøre det så må jeg trene minst like mye som jeg har gjort før. Og å kombinere det med studier, lekser, oppgaver og innleveringer, det er litt vanskelig å finne tid til alt da samtidig. På et vis er det veldig viktig å ha en generelt sunn livsstil for at løpingen skal funke optimalt og treningen skal gå bra. Jeg har ikke ekstremt mye fokus på det, men generelt prøver jeg å spise ganske sunt og få meg nok mat og holde meg unna unødvendig sukker og sånne ting. Jeg tror det er mulig å ha en ganske sunn livsstil uten å ha så mye fokus på akkurat det å trene. Men jeg tror at en må holde seg i bevegelse i hvert fall. Hvis en går en tur eller hvis en har en aktiv jobb der en er i bevegelse og sånne ting, så tror jeg det kan bidra til en sunn livsstil. Hvis jeg hadde spist for lite eller hvis jeg hadde spist alt for mye drikk, så tror jeg på en måte at jeg hadde blitt... Jeg tror ikke jeg hadde hatt nok energi til å gjennomføre den treningen jeg gjør nå med kvalitet, og jeg tror fort at det kunne føre til skader, og at på en måte mye av den treningen hadde vært forgjevest. Jeg tror du kan leve et greit liv uten å trene, og på en måte bare spise sunt, men jeg ville anbefalt alle å trene, og det kan hjelpe på veldig mange måter. Jeg vil tro at på en måte den sunneste livsstilen du kan oppnå, da vil jeg tro at det innebærer å trene jevnlig da, på en måte. Hold dere kroppen i gang. I really want to make more videos, but I'm not sure if I will get the time this coming year. I will try as much as I can to make something cool. I want to try to make some sort of informational videos, like maybe how to block start or some sprint drills, technique, training stuff. Uh, some of you guys have been asking for it and I believe that would be really cool. If you want any kind of how to block start or how to sprint drill or something like that, leave it in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching and this was me over and out.